Hello guys, good afternoon, welcome to Vince Blank. Well, today we're going to talk about uh, this is uh, 6020. Um, this one have an EMF uh, functions. This is what we call the auto means failure. And this uh, generator we're going to talk about is uh, around uh, 180 kVA and uh, i will show you the program for this uh, module this is uh, this e 6020 mac 2 version 1.1 and this generator have an options of fuel level sensor and they have an options of uh, two uh, dry contact relay for their own communications for their own like uh, whatever the uh, uses for their uh, side the two dry contacts we program here that one is uh, uh, what's that um the generator close and the mains close contact so once uh, the generator is run it will close automatically and once the mains is uh, active and that really also will become active for the means uh, so later I will go there and I will show you the, the wiring and uh, what we call the connections for that one and then I will show you the program how we did the program for the standard and for the auto means failure so just take uh, I mean just stay tuned and I uh, will show you that okay so just stay so let's go guys and install this module so wait for a while so while I'm installing okay so now guys let's go for the program and now first thing to do you have to open your applications the deep sea so once it is open, it is uh, supposedly like this. Now you have to read the module. Just click this one, or either you have to click this one. That is both the same. So I will click it from here. So by the way, this pro, this uh, module is 6020, and once again, this one have uh, options of fuel level sensor and the two dry contact which is the two relay which is installed there for the mains close contact and for your genset close contact so that is the function for that so i will show you how to do the program so let's do it now first thing you have to click this one and the next those who are not priority so you do not check it just click check this one because it is necessary for pull down your genset but if you have an options of like you have a fast loading or if you want this or you have to take the power up so meaning this power up it will cost like it will bypass your uh, parameters like for the safety uh, if you check this one it will bypass all the safety uh, parameters so it will go direct to start and then now just check again this cool down and then leave it the rest of it is not check then we go for the next and uh, if this is not necessary for you you can remove it like uh, power up because this is only the lagging options if this is you check it all so meaning it will easily pull your uh, memory for your uh, dipsy because this is only like around less memory so we need to check only the important things like for example uh, we have the means fail so it will give you the lag options and this since this one this engine have no ECU so we uncheck this one and we uncheck for you you can check this one for the maintenance alarm and latches you can check this one for me 
and uh, for our program is we are just doing this uh, shutdowns and electrical trip alarms you can put also this one for you there's no issue now for me i remove this one because there is some maintenance in our site so they can go there for their uh, uh, visual maintenance uh, work so next so since this one is uh, not electronic so just leave it this one conventional and so this is the standard for the configurations for the deep sea so we just follow this one and then uh, the next for that one not just next because it's not necessary so this is if you have an options this one you just uh, add whatever the options you have for this uh, for example you have an options like so once again if you have an options then you have to click this one whatever the options you have you can uh, use it here this is the extra and the, so in, uh, in the, our standard this is our remote and this one is our uh, this is our oil switch and this one here is our uh, coolant switch and the rest uh, there is no coolant level for this one so we leave this one as never so it will not functions okay so just put it all never and from here so as i told you there is an option this one I'll, the the two really additional because this is uh, the the order for the customer and from here in our standard this is common alarm i'll just put some common alarms where are you yeah, I saw it I think yeah this one and then uh, this one is put it this one is put it energize and then find the generator close uh, genset so we need to click G uh, where are you I need to find first so uh, it's in here so close genset output and then this one is mains uh, this close mains i think yeah i will need to find where it is uh, are you uh, i couldn't find it means 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 there we are is hiding for me uh, close means output so this is the two options we have for this generator and the rest just put it uh, never or not used because there is no options this one so we go for the next program so from the timers we put it only eight this one and able to uh, for the safe of your starter it's not easy to be burned if uh, there is some failure and then from here we need to activate this one we have the maximum options like three it depends on your standard so this is the minimum and we are put this one as a maximum a delay this one so we put it five this one so there is no issue with the rest of that one it's okay so let's go for the other one so from here if this since this one is a uh, three piece for wire so no need to change this one in order to match the wiring of your alternator so from here so this time this order is for 15 voltage so our standard for the loading voltage is 95 percent of 415 so it's only around 394 volt for the loading voltage and we have the standard for the uh, under alarm uh, this is what we uh, this is 85 uh, percent for the 415 so this is 353 so, so that is the voltage and this one is 360 uh, that's okay and from here we have 110 percent so this should be 156 and we need to lower this one to 108 percent so it will become 150 like that 
so we go for the next you 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 noticed that in the voltage you cannot see the delay here because we go back from here we have the transient delay this is what we call the total delay for your uh, voltage delay under and over and then the frequency that is also uh, including for your uh, delays so in here you cannot see the delay so that is total for the frequency under and over or the voltage under and over that is your delay so now we're put it here as the same 85 percent so this is 85 percent of the 50 hertz uh, 50 so this is only 4.42.5 and uh, here is uh, 45 i will go directly so loading voltage is uh, 47.5 because this is 95 percent as you can see here there is a percentage and uh, we go from the shutdown for the over voltage this is 56 we put it because this one would we put it 112 uh, percent just leave it behind the rest because it is correct already so now since this one is uh, 135 kVA, so the CT for this one is, uh, I will make some, this is 135, so this is 165, but in the, uh, how much I'm CT that one, I, I will calculate this one, for a while, so this is 135, so, Oh my god, no wrong. 135 times 1.39. So this is only around uh, CT primary. This one is only around uh, 200 uh, CT. But since uh, this uh, uh, we have is the port 300 CT. So uh, this is 187. 187. So we round it, round off this one to 188 okay uh, what happening so 188 okay so in over current we put it this one 110 percent and the generator kilowatt is one eight uh, this is one three five so i will calculate first so this is one three five times one eight what happened so that is a 108 kilowatt so this is 100 percent of your kilowatt so in here overload is 112 because we are So now I will show you the connections for our 6020 and the options. Okay, from here we have the standard connections. So this is what we call the wiring for your EMF. So this is uh, going from your mains connection. So this is your uh, logo for the mains. So you need to, in to wire this one so in order to activate the EMF features. So in here this is your output for your uh, as i said we have the dry contact this is the r1 and r2 3 i mean r2 and r3 this is the dry contact for the customers needed for their options so this is the output for that and this is the connections uh, for the triggering your uh, really for the genset close and the means close so this is for the fuel wheel connections and for your uh, fuel sensor i mean connections and it is connected from here this is the fosola and this is uh, giving you the percentage of your fuel so make it sure the program you have to install correctly what is the uh, uh, sensor you're using so you have to search the uh, options for your sensor there in the program and it is connected from the uh, letter uh, number uh, 14 which is letter c which is that is designated for the fuel sensor so for the wrists that is only for standard and here the battery charger and this is the all the wiring for that so that is very simple 
just follow the installations and follow the uh, wire, wi wiring diagrams of your own uh, uh, wiring for your own standard so you can make it correctly so just also look the video so in order to you to identify or in order you to uh, understand more how we can make it the correct program for your 6020 module so that is uh, very simple guys that is uh, just need to understand only to make it sure that your program is uh, working properly and working correctly so that's it guys so don't forget to uh, subscribe and watch the video for our uh, next vlog so that's it and enjoy watching see you for the next vlog again so i'm happy for that thank you thank you for watching